Hello, how are you guys doing? Happy Thursday. We have a show on a Thursday. I hope you guys are excited. It's almost the weekend. What are you guys getting into this weekend? Hmm? Hmm. All right, so uh, if, oh my God, why is somebody already talking shit, talking about looks like another ghetto gagger chick? Why are you lying? Don't put those expectations out here. Please and thank you. All right, uh, so guys, for whoever is new here, uh, if you want to come and shoot your shot at Denise, what you do is you send me an email at melimonaco1 at gmail.com or the better option is to help yourself. You uh, click the link that is in the description of this video and then we can just uh, you enter the room, you wait a little bit and then you go on. That's it. That's what you do. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, this is a QR code. I believe, right? That's a QR code. And that's a link to my Patreon. So if you want to do maybe a one-on-one -on -one video call, you can uh, sign up over there. Uh, there is more pictures. There is more videos. There is a lot more of stuff. So if you want to check it out, go check it out over there, please. And thank you. So you just scan on your iPhone and then it takes you right away to the thing, to the thing. Also, we're still going to do the, um, you know, if you have any questions, for, for me or Denise, we'll do the, the $5 super chat so you guys can kind of like interrupt the conversation and ask a question. Or maybe not interrupt the conversation because, you know, we're going to, there's already enough interruption with the, the pineapple, the instant pineapple. So, but yes, if you guys want to ask a question that nobody has asked yet, you can do that. Melly, step up on the technology. I'm sorry, my phone uh, that I use for the thing is not working. It's not working today. So that's what we have. Oh my God. So <laughs> I I'm tired of this guy um, talking a hell of shit. Costa Rica, here I come. So um, Gilbert is um, talking about he's coming to Costa Rica. He's been telling me I'm coming. I was like, no, you're not. Uh, but hey, he wants to come. I don't know. So, guys, you would get uh, two in one. I don't know. If you come, you, you can get to meet me. And if you're a fan of uh, Gilbert, then you can meet him, too. I mean, don't take my word for it because uh, I don't think he's coming. I think he's just talking hella shit. But um, if he is coming, then you may meet the both of us. I don't know. Me, I just want to go and have some fun. So hopefully you guys are coming and it's going to be fun. You know, I have uh, dinners, I have lounges, I have activities. Uh, everything is planned. We'll pick you up from uh, the airport. We got your hotel room. I think we're changing hotels three times. So we're going to be on different part, uh, in different parts of uh, Costa Rica. Uh, oh, my God, you guys are outrageous and already not respecting me. Talking about no chill girl, going to clap them chicks in Costa Rica. I mean, there is a lot of women in Costa Rica, so I'm pretty sure, shit, I'm pretty sure he will find uh, happiness <laughs> in Costa Rica. So tonight we have Denise, so hopefully you guys are coming in. I see some people already coming in. Uh, whoever is in the room, I am telling you tonight, uh, we are not fucking playing. You need to come with your light on and please have some decent internet so we can hear you. You're not uh, freezing on us. That would be great. I would appreciate that. But please have some fucking light because you guys be playing with me. Um, wait, what you just said? Baby was bored in your last video. Please take her for walks or play with her. I'm doing a show. What do you mean? What, what, what should she be doing? Yeah, she should be resting, ready for me when I get off. That's what she should be doing. Uh, you're going to be trying to cock block. Cock break for what? We're going, we're all going as friends, you know? So there's no, nobody cock blocking shit. Uh, Many gonna look like she looked at the parade in Costa Rica. Hey, you know, in Costa Rica, it's gonna be the beach. It's gonna be pools. You know, I'm gonna wear a bathing suit most of the time. You know that. So if you're trying to see the booty that I don't have, if you're trying to find, uh, to see some titties, and Jennifer is coming too. So, you know, Jennifer got that for sure. So you guys should come. Uh, what else? What else I want to tell you? I'm about to go uh, DM her. She, she said she was coming. She said she, she liked the message that I sent her when I said I'll see you soon. 
She said, yes, so I think she's about to be here, but hey, it's been five minutes. So where are you at? You know, that's the nice, that's the nice one. Where are you at? Where are you at, girl? Let me say girl. Let's see, let's see where she at. Uh, somebody said, please have a shirt on. Why would I have a shirt on at the beach? No, no. Um, oh, also, I wanted to tell you, Costa Rica, uh, I was able to get an extension. So anybody who still want to come, it's still possible. It's still possible. They didn't explain to me everything. So, but it's possible. The link is in the description of this video. And um, you guys can still click it and book it and come. Mainly no bathing suit. That's not happening. We are doing bathing suit. Why are you guys talking to Gil? Gil, don't bring no guns. I don't think he can bring guns on the plane. I mean, unless you're flying private, I guess. I don't know if he's trying to fly private from fucking LA. That, that might be a little expensive. Uh, oh, she's sending me it's on IG, right? No, it's not. I'm sorry. I'll tell her to click the link. Oh, so she's going to take a little minute to come, I guess, because uh, then she might have to set it up. Um, so we'll see. She liked it. So, But she's here. She's she's coming. I apologize. Uh, what else you guys are saying? Okay, some people are sending money. You guys are starting early with me today. I missed the Q&A episode. That shit was out of pocket. Was it? I mean, I say I answer everything, everything. Uh, thank you, Scotch Bonnet, for the $9, $9.99. Let me not forget the 99 cents. No chill, girl. I'm going to try to hit that in Costa Rica, Melly. No friends trip. Motherfucker, shut up. Shut up. No friends trip. Yes, yes, friends. Um, <laughs> I don't know where, where, what you're thinking. I don't know what you're thinking this is. No. And then why would you want to come to Costa Rica with a lot of people? I, I don't understand. Hey, you want to come, come. Come, pay, pay for your ticket. Um, and then everybody is going to be happy you're here. I'm pretty sure some people uh, want to meet you. Uh, what else? <laughs> Plot twist, girl already hit that. You wanna, Oh, she's here. She's here. Okay, we're done talking. She made it. She's here. I'm adding you, girl. All right. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? All right. Girl, I've been working all day. <laughs> yeah. What? What? Uh, I know you do. Is it makeup? You yeah. Makeup. makeup. Okay. So you've had a bunch of uh, appointments today. Yeah, they be having a whole bunch of events here in Houston, so it's, it be busy all the time. We, like we can don't complain. stop. We can't complain about being busy. Mm -mm. Because <laughs> you know, as an entrepreneur, you never know when your next dollar gonna be. So I know so that's the thing. All right. Well, hopefully uh, you're gonna be here, and we're gonna have some fun. You know, we mm -hmm. we laugh a lot. I don't know if you ever watch an episode, but we usually laugh. So that's hopefully she <laughs> really likes you uh, a little bit. So okay. So tell me, tell me about yourself. Tell me, tell us, because we're, we're, it's your show today. Oh, right, okay. it's my show. Well, welcome to the Denise J Show. No. Yes. <laughs> kidding. Yes. But yeah, um, I'm a makeup artist, and um, I'm originally from the Chicago area, but I live here in Houston, Texas. Um, and Texas is great. Like, it's hot. I don't got to worry about the ice and snow. I grew up with that my whole life. So having sun all the time is really cool. And just working on some more projects right now. I got a coffee brand coming, and I have hair, so... Okay, cool. Yeah. When did you when did you move to um, Texas? Uh, I've been here going on nine years. So I've been here a while. Oh wow. Okay. Did you always do makeup, or were you doing something before? No, um, I've only been doing makeup for like four years. I yeah. bounced around in careers. So okay. <laughs> if you can pick up careers just like that, why not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so tell us, um, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, what I like to do for fun. See, as of now, I just like the the little thing, the basic thing. Just give me a massage, give me some wine, a wine taste, and stuff like that. Um, I used to do adventurous stuff, 
but then I almost died a year and a half ago. So, um, what was the adventure? Yeah, I was in Tulum, Mexico, and I broke my jaw, uh, and I was unconscious for like six hours, broke my shoulder. So I like don't really do too much yet. You know, I'll be getting my feet wet a little bit, but I don't go what crazy. Was the, what was the adventure that you did? That we were on dune buggies and in Tulum, and the guy fell asleep, and I went over to Ocean's Cliff, and I was unconscious. So the guy, the driver, fell asleep. Yeah, he fell asleep. Um, I personally think the person was off something, but I don't know. You know. But um, yeah, we know it's Ocean's Cliff, and they allegedly they climbed down and got me. Um, they got a crane to get the dune buggy off. I woke up in the hospital. Oh, yeah, shit. broken jaw. That is crazy. Well, I'm sorry you had to go through all of that. Yeah. So I'm like, like I said, I'm like diving back into a little adventure, but no dune buggies for me. Nothing crazy like heights. And... Yeah. Uh, now I'm recovering. So no, no first dates on that. <laughs> Because I'd be doing all type of craziness, like bungee jumping. Yeah, I used to love doing all of that. Not anymore. I, I hear that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so would you like to tell us your age? I'm 31. 31. Do you have any kids? I have one. I have a daughter. Okay. How old is she? She's nine. Nine. Okay. They got a little mini me. Yeah. Do you want more? Um, I do. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You know, I'm okay. so focused on my like career and which is always like that every year. You always want more and more and more. So eventually you just have to be like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what else? What else I want to ask? Um, when was the last time you had a boyfriend? Um, well, I just actually got out of a relationship. So <laughs> I'm very hot. I'm fresh. <laughs> how long? I don't even know how to date y'all. So, but mm. no adventurous stuff. Okay, so how, how long ago was that? That was about about the end of last year. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I was like, you say I just got out. I was like, was it like a week ago? Oh, no. okay, last year. Okay, we're good. Yeah. We got eight months in. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. It's been a while now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, how has uh, dating been for you? Um, I've been taking it slow. Um, it's a different pond now a different ocean now with dating mm -hmm. i feel like the men are more conceited now um it's like can i take the selfie or you want to take the selfie which <laughs> one <laughs> you know like <laughs> so some of the men they, it's, it's they a little different now a little feminine and they kind of want to be the woman yeah you know? like so mm -hmm. and then especially with being more dominant you know women that's more dominant now men they're they seem to like pull back. So a lot of people don't even want to approach you. You know, mm -hmm. they see you got your stuff together. You come in and you change the whole aura of like either the restaurant you go in. So it's a little harder. It's a little different. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay. So we're, we're going to try to find the men of your dreams today. <laughs> okay. It's been nine, uh, eight months. Oh, wait. How long were you with that guy? Oh, like forever. Like Ooh. forever. Are you over him? Huh? Are you over him? Who knows? If he gets his shit together, you never know. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I never say never. I never say never. Hey, somebody can come in right now and make you yeah, forget. I just never him. say never. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, so we're gonna try to find a replacement. So that, that's the goal for tonight. Um, so you gotta help us. What do you like? What is your? Um, I don't know. I don't want to say your tie, but like. Uh, what's the personality that you enjoy? You got to be funny. Um, I really like if, if you get along with your parents. Like, I feel like that's, like, key, um, having a good relationship because it kind of shows you, like, your values as, as, like, with family. So you have to have, like, good relationship mm -hmm. with your family. Because okay. I like doing family events and taking the kids places or just my mom to dinner. I want you to take your mom to dinner. You know, I want to be, like, the second daughter to your okay. mother and, Vice versa. So. Nice. Awesome. So, uh, what what else do you like in his personality? Well, I'm a foodie. I'm a foodie, so I like to eat like a lot of different restaurants. I like going out eating all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you can cook, if you a chef, that's a plus. And then we ain't gotta go that many places. <laughs> but I need you to make gourmet food because I like I like food. Okay. All right. What is the age range that is okay for you? How the age range. 
I'm 30, so definitely in your 30s. I don't know about 20s, because 20s, y'all, I don't know if y'all can handle me. I come with a lot. So you got to have to really show me. But definitely 30s, 40s, 30s and 40s, maybe 50. Hmm, we don't know, because you know them zaddies that nowadays, they different. They be looking nice. Yeah, especially with that white beard. Mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> zaddies. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'll say 30 to 50? Yeah, 30 okay. to 50. We'll okay, can they have kids? Yeah, they can have children. Okay. Uh, is there a, a number that you can do? Can they have five? Yeah, you can have, like, it doesn't matter really the, uh, the amount. Now, I do care about the baby mamas. I don't have time to be trying to call this baby mama, that baby mama, 30 baby mamas to get everybody together. So <laughs> we need to keep it all one baby mama. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, that's going to be hard. Um <laughs> <laughs> Especially if they got a lot. But, yeah, hey. it's so good. That's just a lot of baby mom. That's just a lot of phone numbers. A lot of drop-offs. Like, that's a lot. And that's if they're nice, too. You know? I know. That's a lot of different personalities. They ain't trying to deal with my personality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, what about uh, how tall? How tall are you? I'm like 5'5". Five, five. Okay, so, so how with heels on that probably could put me at what five seven, five six, mm -hmm. and a mm -hmm. half something. So I need you to be at least like five, like five nine. Five nine? Five, yeah. Okay. Uh and how much money does it mean does he need to make? Mm -hmm. Well, seeing the age, I think you need to be bringing in at least I'm not even gonna say six figures because you know, sometimes that's being real unrealistic but you need to be bringing in at least your your average like 75 i'm, I'm gonna cut you 25 thousand down wait how much a recession wait how much you said 75 five thousand five thousand wait you say seventy five thousand a year yeah okay i said i'm not gonna put y'all at a high standard at six at six figures because i know it's a recession I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay, 75. Okay, that's not bad. That's average. That's an average man. That's not a baller, shot collar. Because, you know, sometimes, like I said, they be conceited. These, these ballers, they don't know how to act. Mm -hmm. They know how to take their credit card and then splurge out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. But I'm going you know, to keep it cute. I'm going to just say 75. 75. Okay. Because I can bring in that a year. So, I mean, we'll be equal. Equal. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think we got enough information to start with. So, people are going to ask you more questions anyway along the way. But uh, so, how it's going to work? I'm going to bring a man at a time. You can ask him questions. He's going to ask you questions. And uh, the minute that you feel like, yo, I'm not really feeling the vibe, or the romantic vibe, you just say pineapple and we move on to the next guy. Okay. Okay. Also, there is uh, something called the instant pineapple. So the chat can participate and help you out. If they feel like the guy you're talking to is not a good candidate for you, they can pineapple him for you. They just send a $20 super chat, uh, super chat and then uh, the guy will be gone. But if you did like the guy, the guy can come back. Oh, okay. But when you say pineapple, he can't. Okay. All right. So, so that's it. Uh, you ready? Yep. Yep. All right. Let's see. Uh, hello. What was up? What's up? How you doing? Um, I got a question. Mm hmm So, um, you said like you got in an accident, right? Yeah. So, hypothetically speaking, right? I like to ride uh dirt bikes and ATVs and stuff. You know, hypothetically, if I win you over and stuff like that, would you hop in the back? And if no. I do a really you go straight. It'd be pine no, it'd be pineapple, 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 pineapple. A thousand pineapples. Yeah. All right, tight shit, tight shit. But um I got dreams and goals. Low key, I wanna be a I wanna, I wanna be a stripper. You wanna be a stripper. what? No pineapples. Stripper. We're gonna pineapple what? you out. I ain't gonna baby do it. Yeah. See, yeah. see, and I told them in the beginning, didn't I just tell you? The, if you come into the first date about a dirt bike, about an ATV, it's a, it's a, it's a no-brainer. No. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -mm. 
they don't they don't listen uh no chill gear thank you for the ten dollars wrench melly what is wrench means do you know because i don't no wrench i don't know wrench melly yeah uh, i don't i don't know i don't know that word so mm -hmm. I, I don't know. All right. Well, we're, we're going to go to somebody else. Uh, King Joe. Your mic is off. Oh, yeah. His mic's off. Oh, well, he left. Okay. Guys, anybody who is in this room, it's to talk to Denise. It's not to watch the show. If you want to watch the show, you go on YouTube or Facebook. It's live over there. Here is only to talk. And please put your camera on. Hello. Why you guys don't be listening to me, apparently. Um, you got a camera. Hello. Yeah, hello, Melly. Hi, how are you? Hello, Dennis. Hello. Uh, I'm fine. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. What's your question? I'm yeah, Nelly, I'm here uh, not to for Dennis, but to ask a question to Melly. Can I? No. No. Okay. People, this is not the ask a question. I do Q and A's and shit. This is not the ask a question. If you don't want to talk to Denise, don't come here. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry. Hello. You're very beautiful, Denise. Thank you so much, crazy face. What's your real name? Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you. Normally, I just start watching the panel show. Um, I just got some interest in it. I have some a question for you. Are you a, a holy person? A holy religious? person? Religious. Yes. What way? I'm sorry? What way? I'm a Christian. Really? Were you ever married? No. So I've sinned. So why do you have a kid? And I've repented to the Lord about that. No, that, well, that don't work. It does work. And if you don't believe you that, can, I don't know. The we can't be together. If you can't. God all. But mm -hmm. he's worthy. Wait, crazy face. Crazy face. Are you a virgin? A virgin? Yes. Are you? Yes, I am. I'm 28 years old and I'm a virgin. How old are you? 28. 28. So you're looking for a wife to lose your virginity with? As long as I'm in a relationship, a serious relationship, I will lose my virginity. As long as marriage included in a relationship in a fair future. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so can you be with Denise or no? Because she, she's not a virgin. It doesn't sound like you can because I'm not a virgin and I've sinned. And I, because I didn't get married I'm not, before. I'm here so to, I don't think Dennis, you could be a good match. Dennis, so listen sorry. to me. Dennis, can you listen to me, please? Huh? I'm here to save you. I'm here okay. to save you. Well, thank you so much for joining today. You have a great one. Hi, Napo. Yeah. How are we gonna even match? I've uh, sinned. I've repented and now what? You're so funny you say I've sinned. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I've asked the Lord for my forgiveness and only God can judge me. Damn right. Uh, okay, wait, we got a question from Patrick. Uh Melly, what does it mean when these wonderful women mean when they say at least 75k a year? As we all know, money comes and money goes. So at the end of the year, there won't be no 75, <laughs> just saying. Exactly. Everyone knows that. So as long as you grow 75K, that is great. You're going to have your taxes. You're going to have your um, Medicaid. You're going to have all these wonderful things come out, insurance on down. But your gross must be 75K. Because by the time you break down all those things that we have to give Uncle Sam... You're, you're still going to be really low in income. So I'm actually taking you as you are because I make seven, way more than 75K. I charge between 100, 100 to 200 to a makeup and I get about 40 clients minimum a week. So therefore, I'm actually giving you guys a good chance. Wow. And I'm putting the finances aside. 
Girl, you make 200 making a. Uh, I do yoga? very well with makeup. Very well. Wow. Okay. Very sure. well. I need, I need to. Now, but when coronavirus hit, of course, like I was at the, the lowest podium of everyone because no one was wearing makeup. We had the mask. So that's why I said I'm very blessed to have come back still doing very well. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. We got, we got more. Hello. Yo, what's up, uh, Denise? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Can I sing for you? Yeah, sure. Let me hear it. Yeah. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Hey, Melly, Melly. Hey, uh, uh, hey, 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 hey. I love you, Melly. You know that? I do this for fun. I love you. I support you, okay? I'm going to put you on YouTube. I love you, Melly. Uh, 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 I love you, Melly. You understand that? I've been doing this shit since November. I fucking love you, Melly. Okay, pause. If you say her name one more time, I'm gonna pineapple you. Because she's Jordan. already told you. Love you, Jordan. Anything. Melly, Melly, oh, pineapple, pineapple. pineapple. <laughs> you are patient. These men are so... Yeah. Guys, can you come correct? You know, yeah. the beginning sometimes is rough until the the late comments start pulling in, you know, but uh, yeah. Guys, also, I see a lot of people. There is no light. Guys, can we get some light? Where are you in the dark? Where are you at? Okay, Brendan, Brendan got some light. Hi, Brendan. Hey, how you ladies doing? How good. you doing, Brendan? I'm doing pretty good, pretty good. I can't complain at all. Good. I love your energy. I appreciate that. Right. I love your, yeah, but it's like your energy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to, you know, pretty much stop by to say hello. Um, I mean, I'm in Colombia right now, so. <laughs> you say Colombia? You know, yeah, I'm in Colombia. How long are you staying there for? I'm going to be here for like another like three or four months or something like that. It's just like more like vacation. And I'm contemplating on getting a restaurant perhaps down here, you know, more source of the source of the income. Yeah, that's very smart. Yeah, Cheap labor in Colombia. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, Cheap labor, you know what I'm saying? But you want to pay guys a little bit more than what they used to making because down here, like, a lot of people, you know, get paid. The minimum wage, I believe, is like $400, $500 a month, which isn't nothing. So if you pay them, like, six, seven hundred a month, it's a lot easier to get people to work for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And to, you know, just put in extra effort. I love it. Start a nonprofit organization. You do very well. With yeah, it. sure, very sure. Well. So, yeah, just just hustling, doing my thing. I'm um, originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm ex-military, so you know, just grinding it out, hustling. Just turned thirty, so I'm just really enjoying my life. Do you have kids? Yeah. I have one little girl. She uh, eight years old. Oh, okay. So, what is she? Second or third? She's in second grade. She'll be going to third grade uh, this coming up year. Okay, great. So she should be about to start. I mean, her, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, her day, I mean, her um, life, like, really every single day. You know what I'm saying? Just talk to my little girl, video yeah. of whatever I can do to come in Columbia. And she's all the way in San Diego. So, you know, I travel to her, like, every month or every other month to see her and definitely talk to her every single day. Oh, that's lovely. You're a good dad. That means that you're family oriented. Love Say it. that again. You're family oriented. I love it. Oh yeah. As a man, we okay, have to be baby. family oriented. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> what? Uh, it is jail. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as men, we have to be family, have family oriented. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this like the you know why, I don't know why they say that, but um, yeah, it's important to care about your family and everything. And not just to talk about it, but to be a man of action. I believe, you know, you have to be multifaceted. That means that you got to have your body on point. You got to have your money on point. Everything got to be on point. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's important. You have your so, relational skills. So why are you actually in Colombia? Are you trying to just make sure all the steps go right? Why, why wouldn't you, like, check on that from here, from the States? And then take a couple trips oh, yeah. down there every week. Are you getting your uh, hands well, dirty? What's going on? Oh, not at all. Um, so I, I've traveled to a lot of different places. Even um, 
The chat is not feeling him. <laughs> the chat feels like there is something fishy. Yeah, that sounds like so. Why are you down there? I didn't. I didn't understand. Like, what are you doing? Most businessmen, they're not going to be there the whole three months. I don't know. I don't know. But people were saying he's in jail, so I don't know. You know, they got phones in jail. Yeah. So, I don't know. I hope not that he's not there. But hey, we got more people. Uh, Jordan, I saw you earlier. You got light or no? Oh, no. Nah. Hold up. Give me a second. All right. I'll come back. Uh, Hassan, hello. Hey. How are you? Hey, Hassan. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good, too. I'm Hassan from Africa. Oh, okay. Do you have a passport or a visa? <laughs> yeah, I have a passport. But... Do you have a passport? You, you, well, you can't have a passport. Are you? Well, yes, you can. Are you from America or are you from Africa? I'm from Africa. Okay, so you can only have yeah. a visa to come work over here. Do you want to get married? Yeah, of course. But um, less than your age, one. Yeah. And then if we get married, our children will have dual citizenship. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, uh, but Denise, you know, if you marry him and you want him to stay in America, you're gonna have to sponsor him and do the whole paper, the whole paper thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so how much? So what do you do? You say how much? <laughs> <laughs> you see that? What do you I do? Work. You do what? I work, I work for you model. No, no, my transportation logistics. Okay. Yeah, so I'm also in the university, yeah, third year now, doing procurement and logistics. Yes. Okay, so so would you like to, would you like to come to America or would you like her to come live in Africa with you? No, if I'm my income is stable to take care of her in Africa, I would like her to stay here. But for now, oh. I love living in America. I couldn't leave my family, and that's what I love. Yeah. So, to you seem so sweet, but pineapple. Sorry. So, wait. So, let's talk about it. So, if you find a man that's in another country, you you love him, whatever. And um, so, you you got to marry him to come. Are you, are you doing that or not? Are you sponsoring him? <laughs> Uh, oh, that gotta be some deep in love. That gotta be some JC Beyonce for me to move from my family. Oh, you must be. No, no, no. You're not moving. You're not moving. He's in another country, but he wants you want him to come live in America. Oh, so, yeah. He, he can come to America, but I can't sponsor him. You have to. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> if you want him, if you want him to stay, I think uh, people foreigners can only stay ninety days straight like consecutively so how are you gonna make that relationship happen if you gotta go home every 90 days and then you know when you start doing the back and forth they're, they're like why you're here so so much you know they're gonna start checking him so, so you're saying we're gonna make sure to marry, you're not willing to marry the man of your dreams and sponsor him no so we're going to find him he's already gonna be doing great in whatever country he's in so we're going to find him an even better job in America. And then he's going to get a visa where he can stay here way more than 90 days. I think it's up to, what is it, like eight or nine years for a visa. And then I don't know if I, we're really madly in love. And then we'll just get married. So wait, so you want him to come on a work visa? Oh, yes. Of course. Oh, okay. He's going to have to work hard for my love. I need to see the sweat, blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> okay. Okay. It, it's hard to get the work visa because also with the work visa, you're, you're stuck with working for the company you're working for. He better get a um, promotion. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We got more. Because, you know, I feel like, what's the show? Like 90 days? I don't know just go on the show. I think it's a show like 30 days or something. No, like, I don't just go on the show. show. Like Fall in Love, like Blind in Love, all those shows. Mm -mm. You no, don't really know a person in 30 days or 90 days. No, but you know, that's my show. So, <laughs> so I know everything about that show. So no, so usually they talk online for a long time and they're in a relationship for like somehow in a relationship for like a year or two. And then they decide to meet and for that person to come back with 
them to America, they gotta get married. And then they ask for the, um, for the visa and do the whole immigration thing. So, but you're saying you're not doing that. No. Probably not. We just have to make sure we're madly in love. If I do that, like I'm madly. Like you've yeah. done, you've crossed all the T, um, T's dotted all your I's for me to do that. <laughs> okay. All right, Let, let's see. Somebody, they're talking shit to you. Uh, they say no one ever cheated off of her test in school. <laughs> no one ever cheated off of my test. Oh, I was definitely, I was an A student. So everyone actually always cheated off of me. Did, did you let them or were you the one? Oh, yeah, because I believe, like, you know. You, yeah? Yeah, I believe Sharon is Karen. I always, I always let them cheat. It don't matter. Okay, all right. So guys, you're wrong. She let people cheat on her, on her <laughs> test. I don't care. I can pass my test if they can't pass theirs. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello what there. Hi. Huh? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Nelson, how are you doing? What do you do for a living? I'm an engine mechanic. A, a what type of mechanic? Engine. Engine mechanic. So what do they call them? Um, engine mechanic. Well, how do you become an engine mechanic? I thought mechanic was a mechanic. <laughs> an Maybe engine mechanic. He specialized, right? Yeah, I specialize in just engines. Diesel engines. Mm. You know those big yellow things? They have the everything side? nowadays. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So what, what's in your hand? Show us what you were eating. You say what? Show us what you were eating. I had water. No, you were eating something uh, pink. Oh, this shit. <laughs> what is it? Candy? Looks like no, a fruit yeah. roll up. Yeah, it's a fruit roll up. Oh, okay. Ain't wrong with eating a little fruit roll up. You know what I'm saying? Where are you from? I'm from Japan. You're from Japan? Oh, that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, I'm a Blasian. I kind of get the do rag now. It kind of makes me think of um, what's that? What's the movie with uh, Will Smith's son? He always would up with the do rag, the little Jaden boy. Karate kid. Oh, karate kid. Well, the chat said no wife beaters, no do rag. <laughs> so, did, did you like him? Should he come back and talk some more? Or? Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's well, given, I'm not going to lie. It's giving little boy vibes with the do rag for me. Okay. So, guys, take the do rag off because she don't like that. Um, who is Sam? Sam, you don't got no light? Hello? Hello. We, we need to see you, Sam. Can you see me? No. You know we can see you. All right, let me see. Who else we got that we see? Hello? Hey. Hi. Hello. How are you? How are you? Denise. I'm good. What's, good? What's, what's Gucci? What's Gucci? I you ain't. like Gucci? I like Gucci. I love Gucci, actually. <laughs> I just want to ask you a question. You know what I mean? Like, personally. Like um, it's 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 a pleasure to meet you. Hi, hi, hi Miss Melly. Hey, wh what's, your, what's your birthday? I'm a Pisces. My birthday is March twentieth. Okay, what do you like to do on your birthday? Um, I I'm normally sorry. take trips to Miami. Oh, okay. What part of Miami? I always stay on South Beach. Oh, okay, I rub day counting when I get down there. Mm, nice. Oh, hey. I love Miami. I like Miami because when you're out there, you never know what anyone's ethnicity is. Maybe okay. Jamaican, white, Haitian, Hispanic, right. Dominican. You never know. The chat don't want to. No. Sorry, sorry, Nicholas. The chat said no. Okay, uh, say no. Okay, Jordan, did you get it right? Yo, I gotta see. I'm I'm here in Miami, looking for the hoochie daddies. Where they at? Oh, I'm looking for the hoochie daddies too. Can you point me in the direction? It's serious. We both can't be looking for the hoochie daddies. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got on the wrong chat. Uh, yeah, because um, you just want to be my friend. Say that. We don't get men for you, sir. Mm -mm. Hello. Yeah, what's up? What's How up, you doing? <laughs> You're not looking for the hoochie daddies, are you? <laughs> you look good. How are you doing? Oh, gosh. 
Do you have children? Huh? Do you have children? No, no, I don't have. Okay, so you outside. Where you like to go on your first date? On my first date? Mm-hmm. Where would you take me? Mm-hmm. Let's say I'll take I'll take you out for like some wine. Oh, he was listening. <laughs> You, you love water. Huh? Hmm? What you say? I'm sorry, because I just love wine. What you say? You like wine, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then after that, maybe, maybe take you out, see something. Like whatever, whatever you want. <sighs> I, I need you to be take charge. Mm hmm. Agreed. Well, they told him to go put on a do, right? Why you guys? You say no do rags, and now you guys talking about <laughs> one. You guys ain't shit in this chat. Goodness. Mm mm. Uh, like, because no, uh, he need a whole fade. He needs a little something. <laughs> What's happening, man? What's up? What's happening? I guess I want to see what's up, y'all. Yeah, you single. Yeah. No, I ain't single. I just want to see what's up, though. Pineapples. Yeah, this is not the what's up show. Um, King mm -hmm. Joe. Mm -hmm. Yo, Mike is up. King Joe. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yo, yo, what's good with y'all niggas, man? So, um, I, you say what's good with your niggas? What? No, I said what's good with y'all ladies, my bad. But. <laughs> What's what's up? What's up? What do you have? Uh, what's um, going on with you? Where you from, though? I'm from the Chicago area, but I live in Houston. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> you, you heard how he he addressed us? Yeah, Kodak Black. That's wild. Okay, you guys, you guys have manners tonight. I see. Yeah, they just booting them out, booting them out. It, it, it's just like nobody. I'm. There's nobody out here. Oh shit! We're oh not. fuck! Hey, hey, what's up? What's going on, ladies? What's going on? Hey, oh sorry. Wait, can y'all see me? Mr. Nick, like this is fine. Yes. All right. Uh, honestly, I actually got nothing to say. I just wanted because you smile a lot. I love it. Honestly, I smile when I'm nervous. <laughs> That's all. Uh, actually, I actually got nothing to say. Honestly, I just want to hop on and just say, uh, let's see what's going on. I saw your face. Oh shit! Anybody gonna pineapple? My leg, you know? Pineapple. 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 What the fuck, guys? There is no like. I'm coming in. Just. Uh... Yeah, go go get some more because uh, you're gonna yeah. need it. I need a whole night. Exactly. You guys are doing the intermission. Most. Seriously, go go get it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, guys, we're we're gonna talk about it. Uh, can you come correct? Talking about oh, I, I don't have anything to say. Then don't come if you don't got nothing to say. Just watch. Don't come here. Look. You guys are funny. Why they're talking shit about you? They say she drinks box wine. Is your wine in a box? Um, no, this is actually in a bottle. This is a little light because I, I wouldn't dare come on here and drink nothing crazy. I don't know y'all folks. We drinking something that's 10%. So mm. they ain't gonna do nothing for me. All right. We're 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 trying. Well, look, make sure you don't come to the salon, okay? Matter of fact, come to my salon. Book your girlfriends and your, if you, because a lot of y'all got girlfriends on here. Book your mamas and then they can come get some of this, all this alcohol I got in here. They okay. get premium over here. Oh, you sell a, you sell wine? Hmm? Yeah, you I sell wine. You have, you get wine, you get um, mimosas on Sunday with champagne. Um, okay. And then you get shots on your birthdays. Um, yeah, we do it up up here. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, we have a whole vibe in here. So I'm at my salon. So, yeah. Nice. Oh, you own the salon. Shit. Good for you. Uh, all right. We got more. Let's change. Hello. Yo. What's Yo. going on? Y'all can hear me? Yeah, yeah. Good, good. Good, good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You said what? 
There's an echo. Oh, maybe it's my mic. Let me try this. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. Oh, All right. No, like, I'm I just like, going to ask you real uh, quick, no, Denise. Like, I like. Denise, I like, your I back don't hurt it. from carrying like. all these conversations? Huh? Huh? I, I came late. You've been carrying all the conversations. Yeah, you've been hearing, all, been the hearing all the conversations. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. Femzy, try to reconnect because uh, it's an echo. Try to, I'm going to kick you out. Come back. Let's see. We got ice. Hello? Hello, ladies. Hey, ice. Y'all just happened to catch me walking in the store. How y'all doing tonight? Mm -hmm. Good, how good. So you walk in the store with your day. Okay. So what are you looking in for in a woman? I'm looking for a woman who knows what she wants out of life. Like we can we can have sex all day and all that shit, but that's just boring. At some point in time, a woman gotta know what she wanna do with her life, you know? Her business, her company, whatever the hell the case may be. Okay. That's right. You're definitely right. I need a man that I can make money with. I don't even get in a relationship if I can't make money with you. Correct. What do you do? I do a lot. I, I produce. <clears throat> I produce. I make music, um, photography, videos, custom shoes, you know, everything to get a dollar. So it sounds like you are a serial entrepreneur. So what's your main, your main source of income? My main source, I'm a W-2 employee right now, just building up my 401k so I can eventually quit and go full time with one of my companies. Okay. So you're in the nine to five world. Yes, ma'am. Trying to, to build it. Trying to get out the rat race. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I can do. Ain't nothing wrong with a nine to five. Like what you but I, you know, when you say you have so many things, it's just like, what's what's the main, the main thing? My okay. main thing I do right now is I customize shoes. That's my main driving business right now. I don't know how that market is, but I mean, it must be good if you said that's your main thing. Oh yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. And what do you do, ma'am? I'm a makeup artist and I do hair, but my main thing that got me started in the industry was makeup. And mm. I do ponytails and half up, half downs. Mm. So that's what I do in the entrepreneur world. And I have other investments that I'm working on now. Okay. And how long have you been doing that? For four years. Four so times. What's, what's the end goal with that? Like, what's, so the what? end goal? what's the end goal with that? The end goal is to be making residual income so I won't be behind the chair. My investments are what's going to put me from behind the chair. Mm. So eventually be like the CEO, big company type thing, corporate type thing? No, not corporate. I have my products in Target, Walmart, things like that. So I have a product that I'm working on. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have children? I yes, ma'am. I have twins. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, they're so How old are they? They are a year. Oh, so you've been fucking. You've been fucking, fucking. <laughs> hey. This far work, y'all. I've been living. It's I've been year. living. That's so you cute, though. Saying? One year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh, slap baby mama drama. Ooh, no, 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 no drama. I, I can't do no drama, you know. I keep it all up front. Tell my baby mama, like, hey, this. <laughs> Somebody said, man, as interesting as door jam. Mm -mm. Might as well sell toe jam. Yo, I don't even know how you talk so long. It was a lot of bullshit. Somebody Good. said it. I don't know who said it, but somebody said it's a lot of BS. Too much. Yeah. It's too much. You don't know where you're running, whether you're coming or going. So right you now. said you was going into the store, and I'm like, you're going in with a cigar? Yeah, and then you went to the car, so that's kind of weird. And then you smoke the cigar in the car. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And then the baby one one year. That's that's a little the babies. That's the babies it. is cute. Like, I gotta give him that twins. Adorable. But he fucking y'all. He outside. For sure. Well, right, let's see <laughs> who is this. Hi. Uh, uh uh pineapples. I can't. 
Because you're going to spit toothpaste all on us, all on the screen. <laughs> That's not even cool. You guys are doing too much tonight. It's it's a tough night. It's a tough night. It's a tough night. Hi, Mike. Peace. How y'all doing, ladies? I'm just sipping on this to keep my, my throat quenched. <laughs> that's what's up. Uh, doing nothing. I, what you, I need to be drinking what you drinking right now. Me? I ain't drinking nothing. I was just uh puffing on some bud. I ain't, you know, I ain't really a heavy drinker. But I was just puffing on some bud. Just you seem yeah. so nice, but I swear I forgot to tell y'all. I don't like guys that smoke. I don't it's smoke. Cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It ain't but nothing. You seem so nice. Pineapples. I forgot to tell y'all. Yeah, I don't smoke. I don't do nothing. No, so, no, do nothing. I don't like smoke. That's what I don't like it either. I'm sorry, y'all. And see. probably ninety percent of the world smokes. So I, it's like this. Yeah, my I don't percentage know. is this small. What if they don't smoke around you? Is that okay or no? No. I gotta really like you. If you smoke weed, but if you smoke cigarettes, I'm not even gonna get you the day of the night or day or nothing. Mm -hmm. You smoke a cigarette, don't even get on here. She told me. Because all I think is like no. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people smoke cigarettes in America. I hope not. I don't think mm. Weed it's a lot. Weed I can kind of get past a little bit, but I prefer not. I prefer nothing. If, and I know that mean I better don't. Mm hmm Let's see. We got more. Oh, he's back. Let's see if we can hear him now. Hello. Y'all oh. hear me now? Yeah. Yes. All right. Perfect. 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 I'm just surprised, though, that her back don't hurt. She been carrying most of the conversations. I'm like, dang, y'all. And yeah, you really nice, though, Denise. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm like, I would have been pineapple, but I guess I'm just a guy. You said my back hurts? Yeah, from carrying all the conversations with these guys. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I caught that late. It's all good. <laughs> It's all good. And you don't got to worry about me. I don't smoke, mommy. I just, oh, good. We take shots around here. But I heard you from Houston. Or... Um, Yeah, I live in Houston. Damn, I just moved out, too. I moved back to Atlanta. I'm going to have to take a visit, though. Oh, yeah, I love Atlanta. Atlanta's a vibe always. It's about to Why are you in Atlanta? Why you moved from Houston? That's originally where my family from. I was working in security over there in Houston for a little bit, and I got tired, and I learned uh, tech. So I moved back to Atlanta. To jump back on that field. Okay. So, so, with that being said, you like wine. So, I'm guessing if I come visit, we could go on a wine day. Yeah, definitely wine day. Red you have wine. kids? Nah, been pulling out. So, you a date a woman with children? Yeah, I mean, you got children? I have one. I came late. Oh, that's nothing. Everybody in I the have world a nine year old. Days. What that's if I had five? Did you let me in? Nah, it depends how many men, how many people you got it with. If it's okay. one dude, I got to be like... But no, I have one child. Okay, see, if it's like multiple kids with multiple dudes, then it's like, hey, I mean, I ain't trying to be I mean, you extra fertile. And I'm like, hey, hold on, I mean, step back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I have no problem with that. Everybody got kids nowadays. We in the 21st century, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping. Can you have kids? Do you know? Have you been tested? Nah, but I know protection works very well. They say 99% of the times. Uh, <laughs> so your means is marching. Basically, I mean, I'm African originally, <laughs> so I know for sure that, you know, I got my dad got five himself and my mom, so. Yeah, because you got to have a son, like, no brainer. You got to have somebody carry your last name on. All right, so, so we can wait, make happy. We can make that happy. Wait. I'm sorry, so you're saying because you're African, you know that you can have kids? I got to. I, I got okay. to. That's why I strap up, because I know I'm extra fertile. I, I could be fertile, too. My little soldiers be watching, you know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, but I'm going to make this quick so I can let you get your other weirdos out the way. But can I follow you? So when I um, pull up in Houston in October, we can make some shake? Yeah, I'll think about it, because I still have a lot of questions to ask you. You can oh, get okay. my DM. Let's go. What's up? What you trying to know? First of all, you said that you are a security officer. So when you say security officer, do you mean you work for like I work the for armor truck? Are you a bodyguard? You mean to say? Nah, like, what I was, level I was of security at are you? When I was when I was Homeland in Houston, Security. I was a TDCJ, Texas Department of Criminal Justice. When I was okay. 
So I know you know what that is. Everybody out there doing their doing. So yeah, but now I do uh, solutions architecture or IT. So. Okay, so you work IT. You know, yeah. what's your income? My income right now is high. I don't want to say it on the live, but it's 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 basically why I moved back to Atlanta. <laughs> All right, because everything happens in Atlanta. Huh? Is it like six figure plus or below? It's five k less than uh, six figures. Oh, okay. So yeah, because I'm, I'm in that's it. a working man with a plan. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm more, I'm working towards it. I'm gonna push it back up soon, but like I said, I just got into it, so it's still taking some time. And it's like scary for Walgreens. You funny. <laughs> funny. Security, what questions? What questions? I'm ready. I have one. What do you do to make your women happy? Ooh, see, I'm a actually touch type of person. I like to be intimate. Like usually, I like to be. Besides, we're not going out. I like to be like you know one on one with my partner. So if we chilling, you know, I like to rub her down. You know, we. Touch okay, so you're gonna get the baby oil and rub me down. Of basically. course, get the feet rubbing and everything. You know, get to know each other on an intimate level. That's my type of stuff to make my woman happy. Kind of like a little strawberry. Oh yeah, that that's gonna. Might eat I like to eat, things. so you know, actually, we can start off with like steak or some lobster, and then. Ooh, we, that's my favorite. About eat. That's actually. Do that. Okay. Steak and lobsters is actually my favorite food in general. So yeah. we could definitely start off with there. That's what I mean. Like whenever I get there, we could come back. Just remember, food. my favorite thing is lamb chops. Ooh, that's not bad. That's everywhere. Yeah. You so you have to find a restaurant that has lamb chops. I know many don't carry them. Well, actually, what's that place in Westheimer in Houston? I love Nomads. You've been there before? Nope. So you can take me. That's a, that's a fire place. It's, it's down the street from Prospect Park. Oh, I hate Prospect Park. I know. That's why I said it's down the street from Prospect Park. Everybody, that's that's like for tourists and everything. Nobody go to Prospect Park no more. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, well, pineapples, you can um, DM me. I Thank got you. you. Yeah. Okay. You so don't gotta long. say pineapple if you like them. You know, you can just end the conversation and say just slide in my DMs. But yeah, yeah. that was long. Did I kind of got uninterested. You did. It was so long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you liked him. No, it's cool. He's a cool guy. Okay. All right. He's then. in Atlanta. I don't want to fly. It's not even far from you. I go to Atlanta so much. She should have said, I'm going to fly you to Miami. But he want to take me on a dinner in, in Houston. He wants to come see you. So you don't got to fly. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see. Big Draw got some jokes. He got KY jelly oil. Mm -mm. And that's okay. He could put the KY jelly oil all on my foot. Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand, like a body, a massage, it feels so good. It feels or good. Oil. For sure. Let's see. We got Kenyan. Kenyan, I think. Hello. Hi, hey, Kenyan. What's up? What's up? What's up? I was just spectating. I didn't really expect you to add me, but. You, okay. If you click but that link, it's to come talk. You know that. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> so why you acting like I wasn't expecting to be picked? Nah, that's all good. Mm -hmm. okay. So what's up, Denise? What's going on? Your camera seems kind of blurry. There's a light in here. Let's see if I oh, not enough light. Okay, I see. So what are you looking for? Because I'm looking for a man that makes over 75K. Um, They can give me... Take me to some nice places to get wine. I I'm really that. needy. All that. <laughs> like, I'm really needy. I really? love flowers. How are you needy, Denise? What's your needy? Okay, I, when I call you, I need you to answer. And if you don't call me right back in two seconds, I'm going to find it's out problem. what you do it. It's a problem. Okay. <laughs> it's a problem, problem. <laughs> That's it's all. working, making money. You're going to be on punishment because I'm That's needy. And I need you to make sure that I always got food. I like right to be on love food. Sure. You say you like if to you be on You can't order me Perry Steakhouse yeah. and stuff like that all the time. Then I don't know. We can't be together. Oh, for real? Because I catered to my man, too. 
So if I'm catering to you, if I'm giving you everything that you need, you need to be able to treat me like how I need to be treated. So what you gonna make me on my matter of fact, I don't even want you to take me to dinner. What you gonna make me for dinner? I could make you some um you Caribbean food. I like Caribbean food. I love my favorite spot is Jamaica. Yeah, well, my I'm favorite vacation spot. I'm I'm Trini and Jamaican, and I could I could do all that oxtail, curry gold, whatever. Oh, uh, yeah. you gonna make me into an island girl? Hold on, <laughs> look, hold on. I might have to go ahead and move over to over to Jamaica. You might get me. <laughs> the way to my heart is food. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. I was I was watching um you're talking to homeboy, so you got one you got one what son? I have a daughter. She That's is it. nine. Do you have kids? Yeah. Okay. I got five. Why you have that thing on your head? Cause I was just came from work and I don't like my hair getting all dusty and stuff. I was doing like um home renovations and shit. So, oh, home yeah. renovation. Is it your company or like you work for somebody? No. Nah, I got a job and I got my own business. Oh, okay. So you have a job and you're working up to like become full time with your own property or something. Nah, I'm full time with both. I'm full time with both. Full time, full time what? I'm full time with both my job and my company. Well, that's impossible. You can't be full time with both. Yeah. One is always going to take more attention. Um, no, nah, not really. All depends on how you apply yourself. I go hard all day, every day. Mm, I don't see that because I, if I worked a nine to five or well, when I did work a nine to five, because I used to be in your position, mm -hmm. um, I actually worked for Neiman Marcus mm -hmm. and I was full time, 40 hours there. But you know what? I made sure I gave my job, my makeup 45 plus. I made sure that, you know, you give this job 100 percent. I make sure I give my business 110 percent. Right. That's because I would I'm... never <laughs> like work at my job less than my other job. That, if you want something better, that, you know. That's why I'm just finishing work now, cause I got off my 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 job at three o'clock, and then I went go help my guys that's working for me finish something up, and I'm just finishing now. So I go hard with both of them. Like I'm trying to get it. Okay. Well, only thing I can say is that you know you're a great employee. I would love to have you on my team because you give my job, my company, hundred percent. Oh, I need you on my job because you ain't working. You ain't worried about your job. <laughs> well, okay, you ain't worried about your business, but okay, thank you, pineapples. <laughs> Should you slide in your DMs or no? <laughs> no, no, okay, because you need to give, like, if you're an entrepreneur, I feel like you need to give your business more like time than the other person, mm -hmm. job that you're working for. Okay. Um, you may I mean, be mad but, tired, you may be dog tired, but you should always give your business more attention if that's something that you really work mm -hmm. on. But I think he probably, you know, he said he had employees. So, you know, that could work for him, too. No? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It ain't doing well if you still got to work with somebody else still at the end of the day. Okay. Hi, Kevin. Hey, how you doing? Good. How, how are you, you doing? I was just watching, honestly, like, you know, the last one or two. So, if you could let me know what city you're in, Denise. Uh, just kind of start with that. I'm in Detroit. Yeah, in Detroit. Uh, I'm in Houston. Houston. That's so cool. you're from the Midwest. I'm from the Midwest, though. You're from the Midwest. That's cool. Yeah, just a couple of things. It's kind of, again, I, I only watch one or two of them. But what are some of the things that, you know, for you and looking to get into a relationship, what are you really, you know, I think you use the word catering or something like. Yeah, I need a partner. Really I don't need someone that I have to hold their hand with, their hands with. I need a partner where we are already at a certain level and then we can start building from that certain level. Like we need to be able to come together and make a plan and build um, more money together. Um, and then therefore it should be an issue to cater to me and I cater to you. I mean, if you're building money, it's a business relationship. Like what do you really, you know, pineapples. Appreciate it. <laughs> you said, what are you building? You're building, you should never go in a relationship not wanting to make money together. You shouldn't. What if you're already rich? We're going to find a way to make money together some type of way. Some guess. type of way. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We got, we got more. Yeah. No? Okay. John? Oops. 
I don't I don't know if I did that. I apologize if it was me. If you don't come back. I'm probably gonna take like one more because my phone is about to die. Okay. Rosenberg. Hey. How are you, you doing guys? Doing good. 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 Hi. Good. So talk. Talk? Yes. All right, he's not talking. Chris, hello. You got a bad batch. How you doing, Chris? Hey, good evening, ladies. Hey, Denise. Hey, Melly. Hello. Doing great in Los Angeles. How you doing? So, what time is it in Los How Angeles? About in... seven. Yeah, seven oh six. Good, good, good. Can't complain. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, is, I think there is a delay on your end, Chris. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to find at least one that you like. Jean? My bad. It's okay. Bonsoir, Melly. Bonsoir. Denise, how you doing? How you doing today? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So, uh, I guess I won't start with no question there. I'll just go right into it. We'll keep it funky and then go from there, okay? I love it. All right, cool, cool, cool. So I seen the way that you smile when you talk about food. I know you, you know, you say- I love food. You love food? All right, what's your favorite dish? Lamb chops, um, Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes. I can eat, I get those three together. Okay, so you were, you were beast in the kitchen, huh? Oh, most definitely. I okay. can cook. I can get down. Okay. All right. All right. So let's say we go out on a date. What you like? You like Mexican? You like Italian? What you want? What you in the mood for? What I Well, I would love what I said, like lamb chops. But out of the three that you <laughs> said, I would choose Mexican. Mexican. All right. All right. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is when someone is cracking their knuckles. Or cracking their toes. Yeah. Stuff like that. That really, really irritates me. That irritates you. Okay. All right. So, what's your love language, though? My what? What's your love language? I'm going to kiss you on your neck. We're going to touch. I'm going to be gonna, like, my man, my man, my man. You about to kiss me on my neck? Okay. <laughs> With a whole sign, my man. And I'm going to just, yeah. Everybody going to know. Okay. When's, when's, when's the last time you went out uh, on a date? The last time, it might be like a month ago. Month ago. Of course, it didn't work, but about a month ago. What's a, what's a good date for you, though? What you like doing? I like going to get food, honestly. Okay. I don't like doing, like, I just like going to get food. That's all I like doing. So as long as your stomach is, is filled, you good? Mm -hmm. Because most people, like, they're not going to take me to Prada or nothing like that, so... Okay, okay. Like, if you, like, of course, it'd be the, the best thing to take me shopping. Yeah, I get super happy with new things, but I can do it myself. So, most people just take me out to eat. I just say, find a nice restaurant that I haven't been to. Yeah, I heard you were, you were talking about, like, you don't like to do any four-wheelers, anything like that, which I get mm -hmm. that, too. So, I'm in, I'm in Orlando. You know, it's, like, home of, like, theme parks and what. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Jean. Uh, they said, buy Zesty. We're not doing this. <laughs> zesty? <laughs> so I guess they think he's, uh, he's gay. I don't know. You have time for one more? Yeah, one more. <laughs> one more. Let's please work your, have your internet working. Hello, Noah. How y'all doing tonight? How you doing? Doing good. How about you? I'm good. How was your day? Busy. Busy, 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 blessed and busy. What you had I can't complain. How was your day? It was good. Blessed, who? You know. What type of was... girl you want to take home to your mama? Huh? You? <laughs> okay, but what is me like? A woman that got you been me. listening? Let me hear what is the me. If well, you've been mean, listening, you know. I just, you... I just popped up. I just popped uh -huh. out of so you don't know what's up. You gotta tell me then. Now I can tell to make I'm sure gonna... that I'm the right girl. Oh, um, shit! I can tell you, you if you're not me or not. We gonna, we gotta find it out in person. Though. Everybody different, like through the phone. Oh no! See, I know what I want. What you want? 
I need a man that's going to smell good. Like, I need you to have your cologne game on point. I need to be able to eat you up. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, most dope. I, I need, need you to be able to, I, I need, like, I need massage my back. It's a lot of things that I need. So... I need you, you like, to be able like to be that person. If I need you to go pick up my daughter from school, you'll pick up. If you got kids, I go pick yours up. I need you to. I need you to show, like, show you off to my friends and my family. Yeah, I mean, I feel like your family gonna love me. See, I everybody love me. I don't know you from. I don't really got no problem with no people. So I'm a good family man. That's what people tell me. Shit. Ever since I was young, people like, "Are you gonna be a? You about to be a good, good man to your wife and your kids and all that?" Cause it's I not really, for me. I'm busy. <laughs> I, like I just ate, so I don't know if I got food on my teeth tonight, but yeah. Uh. I'm saying. <laughs> so, they don't look bad. Look like you might have. You have. Let me see. You might have braces. I don't know. They don't look good. Yeah, I, I ain't never had no. I ain't never had no. I ain't never had no braces. Okay. Nah. I just try to take care of my teeth. Oh, you know. I don't really try to eat too much candy. I've been like that since okay. I was. A, Cause in another life I would have been a dentist. I love teeth. Mm. I can tell your teeth look real good. Million yeah, dollar smile. Fake. I have veneers, mm. but I had braces before. I'm fake, so what I'm do you fake. feel about girls with like fake boobs and stuff? Did I with body? <laughs> oh, well, he was the last one, y'all. That's it. Like they check. All right. Well, I appreciate you. Anybody that you liked? Ah, uh, if I told you to hop in my DM, hop in my DM, and it just may go somewhere. I I don't remember your name, so I don't know if that's a good thing because you're unrememberable or what. But yeah. you know, just send me a DM. Yeah. Well, guys, uh, that was Denise. If you didn't get a chance to talk to her, take a second before we want to talk right now. If you didn't get a chance, um, this is her ID. Because it was making some noise. Yeah. Uh, if you didn't get a chance, this is her ID. Slide in the DMs. If you have a girlfriend, because a lot of you be watching with a girlfriend, send her, if you're in uh, Texas, send her to Denise for her to get her makeup done. All right, girl. That, that's all. Do you want to say anything else? No. All right. Thanks for having me on your platform. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. You have a good night, girl. Bye. Thank you. All right, guys. That was Denise. If you didn't get a chance to talk to her, again, that's the IG this way. The IG. Go check that out. Um, you would see she she does a lot of makeup, so it's a lot of makeup on there. But you, she has pictures of herself too. So you guys go check it out. Uh, you guys were cutting up tonight. Um, you need to fix your eyelashes. Oh, you guys want to talk shit now. So you extra critical of teeth, but you... Oh, my God. Well, she fixed them. She didn't like her teeth, and she went and fixed them. Uh, Adrian uh, sent a pineapple at the same time as uh, Grayson, actually. Many is the type of woman you take home. She respects herself, and she's the boss. Oh, well, thank you, Adrian. I appreciate that. Um all right, that, that's all we got. That's all we got for, for this week, actually. Yeah, the week is over. It's Thursday. I hope you guys had um, a great week, that you guys are ready for the, the freaking weekend. Uh, I apologize. Uh, she left a little early. You know, we usually do an hour and a half, two hours. She had to go. Um, you guys talking shit. Maybe about to fall asleep on this boring ass shit. Really? You guys were bored tonight? What, what did you guys think? Did you guys have a good time? Tell me. Uh, oh, my God. You guys talking shit. Uh, why is somebody talking about Melly? Let me give, give you back shots. Really? That's, that's what's going on right now. She wasn't prepared. What do you mean she wasn't prepared? She had the light on. She had everything ready. Um. This chat room is ruthless, very. She was all right. Uh, what else, you guys? No, no, boring, lame, many, really? You guys didn't have a good time, huh? <laughs> well, um, terrible. Wow, you guys are going in. Uh, I like her. I saw somebody say that. 
she was shallow, she missed her ex. You think that, uh, I don't know. Shallow, I don't know. She makes her own money, so I, I don't fucking know. Um, somebody said her phone wasn't dying. Well, she had to go, regardless of what it was. She had to go. She was cool. The guys were horrible. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. You guys need to. I don't know. Hey, if you guys don't pull up, and you know, the, the thing is, sometimes you guys um, are kind of responsible for the vibe, too. Not saying the girl is not responsible, but sometimes the, the guys. You know, you guys be coming on and it's um, it's rough in the beginning. And maybe the girls, they never watch the show. Maybe they had the expectations of, oh, it's going to be great. I'm going to have great candidates. And then when she starts talking to one, two, three, four, and it's no light, it's um, no shirt, <laughs> do rags. You know, the people didn't really show up for her. Then, you know, her mood uh, kind of changes too. So... You know, if we want to have a better show, I think we need better uh, candidates pulling up, uh, uh, you know, or do something with your lights, you know. Uh, I don't know. You guys need to um, improve a little bit, I think. Some some of y'all be coming on like you don't care. And then that's, that's just what it is. Um, oh, my God, you guys talking shit. She pulled a recross. What what's recross do? I don't know what that means. Um, thank you, Jessica is saying me that's true too. Yeah, I mean, can you imagine? You think, yeah, I'm gonna go on virtual dates, it's gonna be cool. And then you're disappointed right off the back and you're like, mm, yeah, I'm kind of good to go. <laughs> so yeah. So guys, you, I, I appreciate anybody who shows up because obviously if you guys don't show up, there is no show. Uh, but if you guys could come a little better too, that would help the show, you know? Oh, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Uh, what else? What are we doing? Meli brought... Oh my God, you guys are... out. I'm not reading those comments. You guys are outrageous tonight. Um, outrageous, I'm seeing some more. You guys better leave her alone. But um, so that's it. That's that's all I have. I don't have anything else for you tonight. Um, I might do another Q and A next week if I if I have some time, maybe on Tuesday again, because uh, I didn't answer any of those questions. I mean, almost none of the questions from uh, from Instagram. So I might try to do that. Um, also, if you want to come to Costa Rica, the link is in the description. You can still come. The deadline has been uh, extended so you guys can come. It's already, uh, it's not that many more spots available, actually. It's already 11 people, I believe, right now. So I think the max is 20. So it's nine more people. If you guys want to come, come. Um, Mainly, what you guys talking shit again? I don't know. You guys talking too fast. Typing too fast. Uh, send me a link. Well, there is no no link no more. It's gone. Adrian, thank you. Love to you and your journey. I saw you have a traveling show. Enjoy your life. Well, thank you, Adrian. Adrian must be new. Yes, I do have a traveling show. So, you guys. Um. Should check that out. Many travels. Somebody say bring some BWW. Is it BBW? Oh, I missed the, the message. But you guys, no, because you guys, I could bring you anything, but you guys are so critical that I'm like, I'm not going to bring you a girl that you're going to make fun of. So I know if I bring a girl that's on the bigger size, you're going to be like, oh, she fat. So we're not fat shaming over here. So I, I can't really, because I know you guys. You guys are reckless. And um, yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, what else? Bring trends. Oh, I, I didn't know that you guys were into that, because I thought it was a show for, um, I mean, I don't fucking know about trends because it's like what what does it mean that you like i don't that mean you like girls who are 
transition. I, I don't fucking know. I'm always confused about that. Uh, no chill, girl. Thank you. Uh, 200. Well, I appreciate you. I'm going to bring some BSS. <laughs> I'm like, what does it mean? I don't know what that means. Can somebody uh, explain to me what BSS is? Bullshit. I don't know. BSS. What's the extra S? Am I on the right track with the... Yeah, somebody say you're like trans. I don't know. So what does it, I mean, I, I don't know. We're not going to enter that debate of the, the trans because I don't know. Because uh, there's trans people. I, I don't fucking, we're not going to enter that. Yeah, we're, we're going to leave them alone. All right. Um, we're going to go, guys. Wait, I, I got to show you this real quick, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, the motherfucker is over there with no shirt on. What's wrong with no shirt, though? <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying nothing. I'm, I, I just saw the the picture and I was like, hmm, yeah, you gotta show it. Yeah. Listen, sweetheart, you had me on before, and I was just telling the chat. I said the lady said I look just like her son. She gave me no play, and I had my shirt off. Oh, again, so. Again. So that's your signature? No, I'm just, it's, you know, it's 10 o'clock at night, you know, relaxing. Uh, okay, Ex explain to me. I understand you say it's 10 o'clock, you're relaxing and all. Mm -hmm. So how come you have no, no shirts? I agree. Because, you know, I'd be at my house relaxing, probably no clothes on. But mm -hmm. then why the hat? Why a hat? Yes. Oh, no, I just had a hat no. on. I mean... <laughs> I'm not saying take off the hat. I'm asking mm. you, explain to me how you're shirtless, but yet you are like, Ooh, I don't need a shirt, but let me go grab a hat. How how you did that? What, yeah, what that, came that to your funny. mind? You were like, I need the hat. Without the shirt. <laughs> no, no, but hey, it's a genuine so question. Good. I want to yeah. understand. It's you saw the hat and you're like, Yeah, put the hat back on. Shirt, we cool with the shirt off. With the hat back on. <laughs> oh my I think, I think, were you watching porn? Because I think that would be maybe something you're doing. You know, you're like, okay, I can be all the way naked. Let me no. put the hat. Watch some porn. No. Yeah, no, absolutely not. You could, yeah, if you would check my browser, ain't no porn on there. So like, you don't watch porn at all? No, absolutely not. I actually, do something the opposite. It's called semen retention. Oh, I know what that is. Okay, okay, you're doing that's that. Right. Yeah, that's what I do. But you know when actually when you do semen retention, you can still jerk off and watch porn. You just that's, can't that's, come. That's a that's a lot of uh, manpower. I'll say that. So I ain't there yet. So you just don't touch. You don't watch. You don't do nothing. No, no. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to be a high vibrational, high level thinker. You know what I'm saying? I'm building websites, building company so I ain't got time to be jerking off and realistically it's called association so what I do is I associate it to being like a low value man when I gotta jerk off so you're cheat. low value if you jerk off what's that so you say that you would be considered as a low value man if you jerk off yeah just watching other people who have sex and I'm just jerking off you know what I'm saying? Like, I got businesses to run. I got things to do. I ain't gonna be sitting on the on the screen jerking off. Okay, I, I never heard that. I need to say that to someone because I know a lot of people who jerk off a lot. So I need to tell them they're low value if they do that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you're trying to extend past being an animal, you know, you're trying to be a high level thinker. You got to do things that realistically you might have never done before, like refrain from jerking off. You know, uh, ejaculating, giving all your essence away, you know, mm -hmm. change your diet so you can start really having that mindset. You got to wake up certain times, work out. You know what I mean, so it's, it's a lot of work that goes into it, but yeah. Okay, shit. Hey, guys, guys, maybe we should st uh, start a challenge. I mean, for you, for y'all, because I don't do that. So for y'all, <laughs> for y'all. What do you uh, mean? Yeah. Don't do that. You don't jerk off? No, I don't do that. That's good. <laughs> so you don't need to do that. No, I mean, I don't do you have a husband? Maybe I do. 
You said I have a husband? Do you? No. Oh, you don't got a no boyfriend? No. That's good. <laughs> How is that good? Yeah, I mean, you're available. I mean, this makes it a nice show. You know what I'm saying you get people on this joint, ain't got no chance in the world because you married. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you get an opportunity. Give somebody something to fight for. For sure. And that's that's a nice way to see it. So, do you think it would be different if I was married? People wouldn't want to come to the show. Uh, I mean, it's a good show. It's, it, like I said, it's fun. I was in the chat saying it was it's real fun to be on it. Something different, but uh, I mean, you eye candy, so I'm coming to see you first, and then you know, well, thank see, you. See if I can connect with you with your guest, but <laughs> mm -hmm. you're the reason we're here. A lot of thank you. Well, uh, hopefully we can start. Uh, somebody said the um, the Jack off Anonymous. Uh, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Uh, now they're going to start. Yeah, you can read them on your own time. I ain't got time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hope you guys start. No, I hope you, you're inspiring the, the guys out here who are addicted to jerking off, you know, and they, they're going to stop. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was and I ain't going to say I've never been that guy, but yeah, for when I grew up, yeah, I'm cool. Got yeah. Okay, no, tell that man to put a shirt back on. He said no. He said he's chilling. He just need his hat for tonight. And he gave you 20 to say that? Hey, I'll take it. Oh, she was balling. What? I will take <laughs> well, it. I need to change my whole thing. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, no, we like the hats. But, well, I appreciate, uh, appreciate you for coming. I mean, I know you. she left, uh, but, you know. I wanted well, to see that. catch the next one. Oh, next one. All right. Well, you have a good night, Jay Copeland. All right, Mel. I'll talk to you. Okay. All right. Well, I, I wanted to show you Jay because Jay, I, you know, I can see the people. So I saw Jay and I was like, Jay got no shirt on. I was like, let me see the muscle. But then we, we saw the hat. He don't jerk off. Like, you know, he, he, he taught you something. He still live at his mom's house. Well, it's okay. He's um, recovering. <laughs> He's recovering from his addiction. He, he had to stay at his mom's house. Um, his nipples are big. Aviana, that's what you're looking at, at nipples. You like nipples? Um, all right, we're, we're done. We are done. Guys, I appreciate you for tonight. Um, big draws. Thank you for the $10 super chat. Gil, I rock with Corsino. But you made him look stupid. Okay, well, I hope I don't know if Gail is still here, but um, this is it. Uh, oh, Manny, where are you? <laughs> Your background is different. Uh, I'm not home. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, I'm traveling. I'm in America now. I'm traveling real quick. Um, all right, we out. Meli is at the hotel. <laughs> yes, if I'm not home, where do you think I'm going to be? Most likely at a hotel. Yes. I had some business to handle. Uh, all right, we out. Oh, my God, I'm over you. Somebody say I'm at girl's crib. No, I am not. <laughs> she in... <laughs> I need to get off here. You guys say she's in girl's um, California King. This is not a bed. Thank you. Uh, Adrian, I'm recovering from your beauty. Thank you, Adrian. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm Okay. I am really leaving because you guys don't respect me. At Gil Hotel. Okay. All right. Guys, I'll, I'll let you go. Oh, I'm going to excuse myself. Uh, you guys have a good night. I hope you're going to have a great weekend. Have some fun. Get some rest. Um, fuck a bitch if you can. You know, you can do that. Uh, if it's possible, Scotch Bonnet Hen, uh, thank you for the ten dollars. Costa Rica will host the first pineapple ball. Is it? Are you coming, Scotch Bonnet? Are you coming? You're gonna be the host of the first pineapple ball. You know, I'm gonna have all the guys, and I'm gonna find five girls, five girls, and then you guys can shoot your shot for like seven days, and at the end we see who gets some pussy. All right, that, that's going to be what we're going to do in Costa Rica. It's going to be a challenge. 
You guys should come. Ari, thank you, Ari. You have a good night too. Everybody, uh, many don't jerk off. So how you climax? With a dude. <laughs> What's the other solution? Wait, we, we got Chibs. Chibs is here. Okay, we, we got to say Chibs is going to close the show. That's it. That's it. Chibs, close the show for us. Ellie, what happened? What happened to Denise? She's gone. You late. Oh, she's gone? Yes. What? Oh, uh, she was a bit too early today. She, she was you early? Gone. She, you, she was a bit too early. She left too early. She left a little early. I agree. Yeah. I got I got never say never for her. She she loved character kid or something. Never say never. Okay. You know that song? Is, is that uh, Justin Bieber? Yeah, Justin Bieber and Jaden Smith or something. Okay, let's hear it. I wanna hear. Yeah. <clears throat> but say never. Come on, Melly. I see you. You somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I never thought I could walk through fire. I never thought I could take the time. I never had the strength to take it higher until I reached the point of no return. And there's such no turning back when your head is under attack. It's my destiny. I will never say never. I will fight. I will fight you forever. Make it right. Whenever you knock me down, I'll never stay on the ground. Give it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, 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 up. And say never. And never say never. Oh, never say never. Oh, never say never. Never, say, never thought I could feel this power. I never thought I could defeat this power. I never enough to climb the highest tower. Until come on, yeah. And this is no turning back. When you have to sum the tap, gotta give every dollar. Cause it's my destiny. I will never say never. I will fight you forever. Whenever you knock me down, I will stay longer. Give it up, pick it up, pick it up, 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 up. Never say never. Oh, never say never. Yeah. <laughs> Melly, I wish she was around. I said she's going to love it. <laughs> I wish she was around. I saw it. I had it. I had it. Never say never. So I had to go get that song from my archive or something. Yeah, I was planning to do it earlier today, but I had it from her, so it was like a good opportunity to do it. So that's it. You think she would have liked it? Pardon? <laughs> you think she would have liked it? Sure, she's adventurous. That was a song she's been she, she, she said, said it she's twice. She said she's adventurous. Yeah, no, she had an accident. Am I right? She had an accident. So she stopped. Yeah. And so that's it. She said it about never say never or something like that. I had it twice. I, I looked at the beginning of the show, so I saw mm -hmm. that I had it twice. So, so Melly, I got word of affirmation for you. Are you yes. interested in that? Yes, I'm Okay, Melly. A lion never stops chasing his prey till he catches it. So, Melly, you must also not stop chasing your dream till you're leaving it. Dream big and never let small mind talk you out of it. It may be out of reach for them, but you know gotta believe in yourself. I say chemistry, believe in yourself. Sitaris. Believe in yourself. Robert Bequest, believe in yourself. Daquan, believe in yourself. Pinarello, believe in yourself. Yeah. Henny, <laughs> believe in yourself. <laughs> Brenda, believe in yourself. Yeah, come on. <laughs> so that's it. I got it. That's it. I don't know why they're playing with you tonight. They say your rubber band look like. <laughs> 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 Melly, wait, wait, wait. Let me. 
let me tell you something. I was planning to get the outfit for it, the kung fu outfit for the for the performance of Never Say Never. But this one just came all of a sudden. It was a good opportunity to perform it because the girl mentioned Never Say Never. And in my mind, I wanted to perform it some other time. So I was going to get a kung fu. Yeah. No, we good. It was good. It was a good one. They say you so look what? like a battle right now. Yeah. That, that's it. Okay. Well, I appreciate you, Chips. Yeah. Take care. Nice. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. bye. Yeah. <laughs> Who wrote that comment about the lobster? <laughs> okay. We we are leaving. I'm done. <laughs> He has a thick rubber band on his head. You guys are done. Okay, I, I hope you guys had a good time. If you didn't, we'll try again on Monday. And uh, hopefully you have a good weekend. I'll talk to you next week. Good night.